This is the solid shaft rocker kit from CB Performance that I will be installing in my new engine. I will be using it to replace the original set which has an outdated system of clips and wavy washers that I don't feel like rebuilding at this point. The new ones are supposed to be quieter, more reliable due to the lack of spring clips and washers, and also provide better valve tip lubrication thanks to the swivel foot adjusters. The kit comes with some general guidelines on how the rocker should be aligned once installed, which are super helpful if you have never used this type of rockers. The bad news for us was that the head studs did not say they were oversized and we didn't know it, so we were stuck having to either tear apart the top end or cut the center studs in place, creating a bunch of chromoly shavings. After trying for almost half an hour, my $5 rotary tool from Harbor Freight lost this battle. So I bought myself a real tool that got the job done in a few seconds. Lo importante es que esto se siga moviendo. Ok. Pero esto también se sigue moviendo. Y ahora me faltan los offsets de este lado. Offset. Lo que pasa es que desde el agujero es fijo, entonces tengo que hacer de un lado primero y del otro después. When looking at the valve train from above, the adjusters have to be slightly offset from the valve tips. This can be accomplished by testing different combinations of washers.
Okay. A few weeks later I was having doubts on our work, so I revisited the rocker geometry with a dial indicator, which is the proper way to do it, and even bought an adjustable pushrod kit to make sure I had everything right. I made it as long as it can go, and this won't fit. So I'm doing trial and error by testing the extremes to see what happens. I would need longer studs here. Now I'll make it as short as it can go and see what happens. If I make it as short as it can go, the adjuster on the other side oh, would need to be a lot longer to be able to do a valve adjustment so this is obviously stupidly wrong but I'm just learning how each change affects the geometry I played around with the adjustable push rod trying to get the best geometry, mainly because I was told any changes to the engine width, such as the spacers I put under my cylinders, would affect the push rod length, even if I have a stock 69mm crankshaft. I also read online that you cannot use swivel foot adjusters with lash caps on the valve tips because the rocker assembly would sit too high, but as it turned out my geometry looked best with the stock length push rods from before and the lash caps installed. I was able to get the face of the rocker parallel to the valve tip as shown by the red lines and the imaginary axis of the adjuster shown in yellow was perpendicular to the red lines at half lift. <laughs> 